Every year, on the day of my birthday, I always think about my parents. They both are now deceased. I pray that God grant them eternal happiness. I owe a tremendous gratitude to them for the gift of life. I hope we all appreciate what our parents have done for us. Also, other family members are very important to us. They help us in so many ways to be better human beings, especially when we are children. I remember how influential my older brothers were when I was a child. We all know how crucial our healthy families are, especially in the context of today's society. So, today's gospel message can be very shocking to us. Jesus' words are quite astonishing. He said that he came to the world to bring division among people, including our families. He said that because of his teaching, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. The father divided against the son, son against father. Mother against daughter, daughter against mother. Mother-in-law against daughter-in-law, daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. In Matthew's Gospel, he said that a man's enemies will be those of his own household. Anyone who prefers father or mother to me is not worthy of me. Anyone who prefers son or daughter to me is not worthy of me. Sometimes the message of the Lord sounds very tough, not only for us today, but to all those who listened to him 2000 years ago. I guess that is why many of his followers left him as soon as they heard from his mouth controversial statements. However, the Lord never apologized for his words of truth. He never said, I am sorry if I offended you. Instead, Jesus warned his followers, anyone who does not follow in my footsteps is not worthy of me. Through today's gospel reading, the Lord instructs us not to be afraid to bring fire to the earth, the fire of the Holy Spirit. We see that it is not accepted by many, even by our family members. Sometimes they have negative comments about our belief and prayerful lifestyle. It bewilders them that we go to church on Sundays. Brothers and sisters, we must be ready to sacrifice for God important things in life. A part of our Christian vocation is to make right decisions and always choose Him even over our own relatives. Sometimes it is not easy, but we must carry our cross, which will eventually become a sweet burden. To follow Him means to be ready to give up even our lives for Him. Anyone who loses his life for my sake will find it. Jesus said. Our Divine Master wants us to remember that our true home is not here on earth. Our existence here is only temporary. Our real home is waiting for us in heaven. Sometimes we cannot imagine our lives without the people we love. Many husbands or wives mourn for years after losing their loved ones. Many of them are angry with God for taking away their lifelong companion. Unfortunately, I must say it, that is not a healthy attitude. Grief is very important and natural, but if it lasts for many years, it can become unhealthy. On the other hand, it can be a time of reconnecting with God. We have to understand that earthly relationships will not last forever. At the moment of our death, everything will change for us. We will not longer be a spouse, a parent or a friend. That's why everything we experience on earth now 
cannot be the most important reality. We need to look at other people and material things through the glasses of eternity. If our relationships with others and earthly attachments are too strong and don't allow us to have a healthy relationship with God, we need to do something about this and put our Heavenly Father first in life. And that causes division, of course. Jesus was very clear when he said that who loves the family members more than him is not worthy of him. He wants us to look at present life from the perspective of heaven. Lord Jesus, help us to choose you daily as our Savior and as the most important person on earth before our families and friends. Help us to focus our attention on you and your heavenly kingdom.